Good morning, everybody, and welcome to another Skills and Drills video from Safest Family on the Block. I'm Jason, your host, and today we're going to talk briefly about a way to train yourself for situational awareness. If you've been watching the show, you might have noticed how many of our guests have stressed the importance of being aware of your environment, aware of your situation, aware of what's going on in your family. And here is one drill that I particularly like to kind of build some awareness of how you move through the world. Of course, rule number one is to not be buried in your phone while you're walking around in public. For example, just hypothetically, if you're walking down the street on a winter morning, talking into your phone instead of looking around, that might be a problem. Hypothetically, of course. But here's the idea for the drill. You go into a public space. This could be a park. This could be a shopping mall. This could be an urban street, somewhere where people are walking around. And then you sit down and you engage in some active, tactical people watching. And you ask yourself, if I were a robber, a purse snatcher, a mugger, which of these people would I choose for my victim? And you'll pretty much find out that the victims are obvious. They're clear, they're plain. You know instinctively who's paying attention, who's not, who's an easy target, who's a difficult target. Once you've done that for a while, go into some harder questions like, who would I if I were a rapist, if I were a serial killer, if I were wanting to kidnap a child? Who would I target? Who would I attack? And again, find out first, you'll kind of, you'll pick someone out, but you won't know for sure who, or not who, you won't know for sure why. And then think about it. What is going on with their degree of attention to the world, the way they walk, the way they carry themselves, where they're carrying their bags, how close their children are to them. And then once you do that for a while, you'll get a sense of what you want to avoid doing so that you can stay safe yourself and not attract the attention of the bad guys. Does that make sense? So I know it's COVID right now, it's a little difficult, but Take that chance and get out into the world a little bit, socially distance, of course, to mask on, look around, and you'll find that even without being able to see the facial expressions on the people around you, you'll be able to identify what kind of markers show somebody that this person is a target versus that this person is not to be messed with. And then you can pay attention to your own walk, your own demeanor, your own way of carrying objects and staying close to your child so that you can change the public face you put out into the world into one that does not attract the wrong kind of attention. Now that's the first kind of situational awareness because it begins with awareness of yourself. We'll do some other videos as we go on in the next few weeks about awareness of your environment, awareness of what's going on with other people, and finally third party, active third party awareness. But for now, take some time this week or the next week while you're out and about doing whatever holiday stuff you can this year and try out this drill. Thank you very much. Stay safe, everybody. We'll talk to you next time.